instructor. I've got Moose behind me here. Um, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about three different types of saddles that you can get for your horse that are super, super adjustable, super customizable, um, and very well maybe the only saddle you ever need. So let's go ahead and get started. So the saddles I want to talk about today are your Wintech saddles, your bait saddles and the arena saddles. So the, the Wintech saddles are um, basically, I think they're like the number one um, synthetic saddle in the world. Um, so they're just a really great affordable saddle that are very adjustable. Your bait saddles are leather, um, so they're just really, really nice. They last a long time. Um, and then the arena saddles are actually a brand new sort of brand of saddle um, that Wintech and Bates have made. Um, they're just a very nice sleek saddle. They're super customizable. Um, so basically I'm going to show you today how to measure for them. Okay, so first I wanted to talk a little bit about the really cool uh, pros to these saddles um, and all the customization um, that they have. So the first one being, and a lot of people know this, is that they have adjustable gullets. So you can actually change the size of the um, of the gullet size of the tree here um, to fit your specific horse, which is really nice. Um, or if your horse changes shape, you know, say he is still young and he's growing and gaining muscle, you can um, go to a wider tree um, or a wider gullet size. Or if you're, you know, riding several different types of horses, especially if you train, it's just really handy to be able to change the size of the saddle without having to buy a whole new saddle. Um, the other thing they have is the easy change fit solution. And basically what that is, um, is that down the length of the saddle, down the panels, um, you can actually get shims to shim your saddle. So instead of having to have a um, saddle fitter flock your saddle, um, you can actually do it like basically shim it yourself to fit your horse. Okay, so if your saddle is going downhill um, or he just has not filled out in his withers here, you can add a shim to kind of even out your saddle or if the saddle is slanting back and you need to raise the back end, however you need to customize it, you can do that yourself by adding shims um, into the panels. The other thing that these saddles have is called the care system. Um, and basically, instead of being filled with wool flocking, um, they're filled with air, which is really neat because um, it, the air actually really helps distribute all of the weight um, up the rider and get rid of any pressure points as well. So if you were to put a shim in a flocked saddle, um, it could cause different pressure points. Um, it could cause unevenness. But if you put a shim in a care panel or an air panel, um, it will just even itself out, which is really cool. Um, and then you also don't have to like have a fitter um, flock your saddle every once in a while too. Um, so that can also help your budget out a little bit as well. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and um, fit and and I'll show you sort of how to um, size the saddle and everything. Okay, so there are a few things to take into consideration um, before you order your saddle. Um, there's two different things you need to think about and one of them is your horse's back length. So I'm actually going to show you how to measure for that today because um, even though you might get the gullet size right, um, the saddle could be too long for your horse. So you definitely need to measure. Moose is a cob. He's got a really short back. So we're going to make sure um, that his saddle is going to be fitting correctly. Um, and then the next thing is the wither clearance. So you need to take into consideration whether your horse is a really low profile and super wide or if he's just pretty much uh, falls in the ballpark of the normal range or if he is a high wither horse. Um, so your shark fin withers, your really tall withers, you might want to go with an arena saddle um, that has the high wither, like the, the, the high wither model. Um, but basically, I'm going to show you how to um, measure today, and we're going to be using the Easy Change Gullet Gauge. This thing is seriously amazing. I love it, and I'm going to show you. Okay, so you're basically going to need two things for um, measuring your horse. Um, minus the gullet gauge. So the first thing we're going to do is measure the length of his back. 
to make sure that the saddle is going to be sitting where it should on his um, on his back. So um, I am going to take my electrical tape here. This isn't going to hurt his hair or anything. You're also going to need a measuring tape. Um, make sure your horse is good with the measuring tape first. If not, I would just use a soft one, but he's okay with it. So um, make sure that your horse is standing square. He's standing real nice and square and everything. So what we have to do is find his scapula and his shoulder, okay? Um, you don't want your saddle sitting on his shoulder um, or in front of his scapula because what happens when your horse moves, when he takes this front leg out, his scapula is going to be coming back a little bit just like this, okay? And you've got to have room so that this shoulder can come underneath the saddle, okay? If your saddle is pinching um, and your, your, um, his scapula is not going to be able to move, be moving back, um, it's going to hurt him, it's going to cause a lot of discomfort, but it's also going to prohibit um, his movement as well. So you want to make sure that that saddle is sitting behind, and um, I'll actually show you how to fit a saddle as well. But this is basically just how to find the ballpark of where your saddle should fit. So basically, um, you can kind of see his shoulder right here, okay? So you can kind of feel and measure and uh, sort of palpate with your finger where his scapula is, okay? So once you find it, your saddle should actually fit a couple fingers behind that. But I'm just gonna sort of make a place in his hair and then we are going to add a piece of tape to where that line is, okay? So that is his, that's the, um, Sort of the end of his scapula there so when and some horses all horses are different if you get a really big moving warm blood or even a thoroughbred when they put that leg forward and that shoulder comes back some of their shoulders can come back quite a long ways um his probably doesn't come back that far because he doesn't have that much reach um but you can kind of gauge that when you're watching your horse on the lunge and things um but okay so that's the that is where his the um base of his scapula is, so our saddle should fit about right here, okay? So anyway, there's that. Now we have to find his last rib, because what you don't want um, is that your saddle is so long that it's sitting past that 18th rib, um, and past the 18th rib, it's just not strong enough to hold a lot of weight, um, and it could really damage your horse's back and cause a lot of um, discomfort and problems for him, okay? So how on earth do you find a last rib on a horse and he's like really hairy right now um he's shedding a lot so excuse the hair but okay so basically there's a couple ways to find the last rib um and he's black so i hope you guys can see this but basically um you can kind of feel and try to find the last rib that's somewhere close to his hip or his flank okay it's right here on him and then it goes up this way so you can kind of try to feel okay and make a line right there okay so I'm gonna put a piece of tape right there where I found his last rib. Make sure your horse is standing square or this won't work very well. So let me put this tape here and then I'll move the camera since he moves back. Okay, let me move this for you guys. Oh, okay, I probably should have used a brighter piece of tape. Let me do this again. Okay, so his last rib is right here okay um if you can't feel because some horses are just so chunky um that you can't really feel so another way that you can find it is where the uh the flank is right here so here's his hip point of hip his flank is right here okay where all the hair is going all those different ways okay follow the hair down and then follow this hair down okay so where the hair is coming together right here Okay, follow that down and then go straight up. Okay, go down and straight up. That's where his last rib should be. So we're going to put a piece of tape right there as well. And we were in exactly the same spot. So, so now the saddle actually has to fit between this piece of tape and this piece of tape. Okay, so if you look at that, that's not a very big place for a saddle to sit. So you've got to make sure that you find a saddle that sits right there on his back, okay? So um, I'm going to take my tape measure now and I'm going to measure this. So um, the saddle that 
um, I actually got for him on the website. It's an arena saddle. Um, but basically, when you're looking at your WinTech, your baits, and your arena saddles online, um, and you can even find them used, which is so nice, but um, they should have a sizing guide. So on the arena saddle, it was flipped upside down, and I will add a picture here. And they showed the length of the panels and gave the measurement to how long it is, which is so nice so you can see if it's going to fit your horse's back. So as far as the changeable gullet and the easy change fit solution, all that will fit, but you've got to make sure the length is going to fit. So that saddle um, is 19 inches and a fourth, okay? So we're going to go here, so 19 and then a bit, um, and I'm going to go from here to here, and we're exactly on the mark. So I don't know if you can see that, but we're exactly there. So this saddle should fit his back really nice, okay? If it was any over, um, I would say, if it was the dinkiest a bit over, I would say mm, probably okay. Um, but if it was like an inch over, I would say mm, probably need to find something that's a little bit smaller for his back. Um, so that's just kind of a way that you can kind of gauge and see um, as far as the length and everything. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to figure out what size of gullet you're going to need. Hey guys, so we have our easy change um, gullet gauge now. These are such an amazing tool. So basically what this is going to tell us um, is whether he needs the regular um, sort of range or whether he needs the wide range of saddles. Um, it's also going to tell us what gullet he needs, okay? Now, you do need to take into consideration um, whether you're going to be using a half pad or not. If the saddle fits in such a way that you need a half pad, I would definitely take in consideration because if you have this fitting perfectly flush um, and then you add a half pad, it's going to add a little bit of, um, what would you call it, a little bit of... I don't know, to where it's a little bit too small for him. It's kind of like if you have shoes that fit perfect and you wear really thick socks, okay, right? So you might go with um, with a little bit of a bigger sort of tree um, size. Basically, what I would do is put your half pad on, measure it again, and then go with that gullet size. But anyways, we're going to fit him, and I'm going to show you kind of how to do this. So basically, you want this fitting really flush with his withers. Um, you don't want it too tight to where it's kind of sitting up off of him, and you don't want it too wide where it's rocking side to side. Okay, so let's get it. Standing square um, that he's not resting any of his legs, okay? Um, you've got your tape here so you know where the, his um, shoulder blade or scapula sort of ends here. Um, okay, so we're going to take our easy change um, gullet gauge, and we're going to just place it on him. Now, if it's too narrow, you're going to see a gap between here, okay? If it's too wide, you're going to have rocking. So you want to just sort of push it on until it's very flush here with his withers. Um, and you probably want to have someone go on the other side and make sure it's flush over there. Um, or you can just leave it and walk to the other side and make sure it's the same on both sides. But as you can see, it's sitting behind um, his shoulder blade. It's very flush, okay? So it's not going to cause any pinching. You don't have any air here or anything, okay? So that should be just about right. And then I'll show you which um, gullet he needs. So he needs the wide, okay, right here. And he is within range, so he would take a regular um, gullet size. So he doesn't need the wide range. Um, he's just in the wide right now. Give you guys a close-up look. So how that's fitting, just to flush, it's not rocking back and forth or anything. It's not causing any pressure and it's just fitting very nicely. Too narrow, he would have the space here and it would be poking him down here and causing a pressure point. Okay guys, so basically after you fit your horse and everything, um, you've got your gullet measurement, you've got your um, spine length measurement and everything, you should have a really great start to finding the saddle that fits um, your horse. Um, and it's gonna be really nice and customizable to him and everything. 
Um, so I will do the next video on how to fit the saddle to your horse and everything. But if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free um, to comment and um, I'd be happy to help you out any way I can. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out um, and happy riding.